guys, it's Debbie and I am going to do a pour painting. Oh boy. Anyways, originally when I thought I would make this video, I had picked up some paints that I thought were all pre-mixed, ready to go because see that picture on there? To me, it looked a little bit like a poured painting, right? Anyways, that's what I thought. I made a mistake and it drew me to buy these. Really, these are thicker and you can just mix them up. Um, I thought they were pre-mixed, but they're not. And, um, but on another good, a good thing about these is they are very cheap and you can get these at Walmart for, um, I think like 388. <laughs> I'd have to look it up, but it's, it's real cheap compared to another, um, how many ounces are these? Um, 16 fluid ounces for 388. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I think, um, Anyway, so I got all of these thinking I was just going to pour them and they're all ready to go and I was going to make a painting. I'm all excited because I'm like thinking, oh, yeah, I won't have to do all the work. <laughs> well, I was a little bit wrong, but you know, there's not a lot. I mean, it took me, what, 15 minutes to mix them up. So I have mixed them up. They are basically, I don't measure my stuff out. It's a basically one part paint to two parts um, Floetrol on this mixture and then just a couple drops of silicone and um, That's that's what I've done and um, If they were still thick there was one of them. I can't remember which one it was it was a little bit thicker than the rest So I just added a little bit of water to it to get it and we'll find out I might have added too much water. Hopefully not. Okay. So we are going to create a painting real cheap, right? So I'm going to pull you down and, and we're going to get started. Okay. As you can see, they're all mixed rather kind of thinly. And um, the biggest secret is just making sure that they'll come off easily. And sometimes when I get started and I'm pouring them and then I realize, oh shoot, it could be just a little bit. Um, that one's not really running off of there. I have no idea. So once I pour them into the cup, I will know um, if I like it or not. So. I think I will just add a little bit of white here in the corners. See, that looks pretty thick. So, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to smear this in a little bit. And I think what I'll do is add a little more, just a little more water to a couple of them, especially maybe that one. So if you think it only needs a drop more, I can I keep some of it in a spray bottle. You've probably seen that in those old videos that I did over a year and a half ago. <laughs> um, so it looked thick, but we'll see. As I pour them in, I may change my mind how I like it. So, all right. Um, I accidentally poured a little white in there, but I kind of scraped it out before it was ready. Um, Okay, so I think, I don't know what color to start with. I think we'll, um, you know what, I think I'll start with some blue. And usually right about this time is when I realize, I'm just going to set that in there. I don't want to bump it. kind of as I'm pouring in I'm thinking about what's touching what and um, so but right now it's 
at the beginning I was and what's like if um, the red and green touch they will probably make a muddy kind of color blue and red can be purple it looks like they're all sinking down it's kind of let's take it across the top why not now green goes pretty good with with yellow and maybe blue i'm going to just put a drop of water in this blue saw it jump in there I did not like it doing that <laughs> that's not always good let's see who do we want to do now Okay, we're out of blue. Out to red. Let's do a nice dark. See what happens here on top. Okay, green. Oh, I wouldn't mind a little more white. I think we got enough room for white. We got plenty of paint for this. Definitely got enough paint in this cup. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to move this over a little bit. I want to. I set this up, I don't want to run it all over everything else. So, um, definitely did enough color for this. Shout. <laughs> Way too much color. Sure. My torch is out, so we'll use the heat gun. Maybe I'll give it a shot. good we have a lot of little things going on don't we something a little bigger there I'm just gonna push up from the bottom well and tilt it a little bit if there was something I really wanted to keep I would I'll tell you what let me Pause this for a second. Okay, I just wanted to grab something for the corners.
guess I didn't even need to put any paint on that corner, but sometimes there might be a design you want to keep. So if you're a little prepared, so that's what I I kind of like this side better, so I am, and I like this right here. So we're going to kind of rock it around down a little bit. See if we can stretch out maybe some of these cells. So this paint, so far, I'm not disappointed in it for a very cheap paint. Look how much you got. I mean, the 16 ounces for like $3.88. I mean, that's pretty good. It was nice and thick. You could do a lot of other things with it. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. Just gonna give it another quick torch, see if there's anything any more there or anything that might want to come up. And you can hear it flutter a little bit. bit left in here and I could destroy it <laughs> I could say right let's uh, hopefully I'm not gonna be ruining this but I just feel it needs some little bit more interest to it so I'm just gonna pour the leftover paint on here I'm gonna kind of like follow that The yellow kind of disappeared in there. I was hoping we'd have a little more yellow, but hey, I kind of like it though. It's not bad. It's pretty, you know. Let's see, where else can we put a few lines? Maybe over here? Since I want a little more yellow and I see a little bit left in here, I am just going to give it a little, little drop of, I would spray it, clean my art room and I can't find anything. Anybody else do that? <laughs> I 
which I think I'm going to add the leftover white to it. Grabbing I'm sort of just playing right now, guys. Um, it could have been done a few minutes ago, technically, but I just felt like dragging it out a little longer. Let's see if I hit it real quick with the torch where I just went. I think I better call it quick pretty soon here before I do ruin it. Oh well. Trying to get the glitter off of there from the light. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm going to call this one quits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Happy painting. <laughs>